Howdy folks. Today I'm working on our eggplants and dealing with flea beetles. A uh, flea beetle, I've got one here on the back of this leaf I'm going to try and show you, is a little roundish black insect. It's there to the right of my thumb. And they will make little round holes in your leaves. Bye dude. And you'll come out and you'll see the little holes and you'll think what is going on uh, that is a flea beetle infestation there are two ways to deal with flea beetles uh, neem oil really doesn't work the dawn in water does not work you have two choices you can use pyrethrin which is very effective on a lot of pests in your garden or you can use diatomaceous earth. And I wanted to show you this. It's a Dr. Killigan's. I'll show you the box it came in. A Dr. Killigan's. And it comes with a little funnel in it to put the diatomaceous earth in. This cap screws off. You put the funnel inside of here. Pour the diatomate, well, it's a powder, you really can't pour it. Uh, put the diatomaceous earth in here, and then you just squeeze the bulb, and it applies the diatomaceous earth onto that leaf. Wear a mask when you're doing this. This particle is very fine. It is uh, fibrous, kind of similar to fiberglass, and what it does is it just scratches the snot out of the exoskeleton on these bugs and that will end up killing them. Okay, so I chose diatomaceous earth. It's uh, I'm not uh, overly hung up on organic, but it is not a pesticide. It is natural. It is effective. It will take care of my insect problem and I'm not introducing any type of a pesticide either into my garden or to my family by using it. Uh, pyrethrin is organic in nature, but it is considered to be a pesticide. So the only time that I will use this pyrethrin is when things are out of control. Uh, I have not got on top of the problem early, and it's just an absolute nightmare. Then I will use the pyrethrin. There's one of them little monsters right now. I've already applied the diatomaceous earth here, but I'm going to go ahead and hit him just because I see him. The sooner you can identify that you've got flea beetles on your eggplants and you can get after them, uh, it's going to be easier for you. If you wait too long or you don't catch them when they first get in your garden, there will be a lot of them and they can do a lot of damage in the course of just a couple of days. So as soon as you see your flea beetles, if you have the diatomaceous earth, I would suggest starting with it, get it out, apply it to all of your plants, and keep an eye on them over the course of a couple of days. I will tomorrow come back out and any of these plants that the diatomaceous earth is blown off of, or if we're getting moisture and it has washed it off, I will reapply for two or three days in a row and that will knock down our flea beetle infestation and they'll be done. So there you go. You can either use again your pyrethrin or the diatomaceous earth.